Hello and welcome back to Trouser Creation. There is a part one to the Trouser Creation if that's what you're interested in. But um, you can also check out the T-shirt creation if you if you want to know all the things that I'm using. Uh, just in case I don't mention how it's done. Okay, but I'm gonna sort out how these are too tight right now. So to make them go straight down, I'm I think the best way could be to um it's gonna have to be pressing Z three or if that's on the wrong side for you press control and three to get that box select and select a good few out of the out of that area which for some reason it didn't do there but Okay, select as many around that area as you want, and then just delete them. I delete your vertices there, which gets away the all faces as well. Um, and now I'm going to use multi select loops, and I'm going to extend it down. A little bit at a time, just making sure that it's right. So, and that's currently not so extrude on the Z axis, and bring it down there. Extrude again on the Z axis. Scale it a bit. E on the Z axis again. Or maybe not on the z-axis, move it slightly that way and scale it down maybe slightly because you still want the shape of the leg rather than just a straight down trouser just to show that it's there. Maybe you want to move it forwards a bit on the y-axis just while you're getting into that part and extrude again keep going and move that, that way slightly and back on the y-axis because it's going into his leg a little on the x because that's also going into his leg and maybe scaling it slightly and even scaling it on the z-axis just to make it more straight um, so extrude again I'm not too bothered about that either. Okay, now this could be quite tedious, so I'm going to speed it up. But I'm going to join these faces by pressing four or three uh, parts and pressing F for connecting face. So have fun with that. It's hard to notice, but it comes out. The mesh comes out there a bit, so I'm going to uh, select the side here and sort that out. I'm also going to check how I'm doing on time. I don't mind. Sorry, I'm going to grab it on the x-axis. Wow, bit. Um, that's also going into it. Oh no, it's not, it's just got no face. Okay, and I think that is that. Hello, sorry about the big change from the first half of this tutorial and this half now. I accidentally closed the tutorial and then having closed it I thought, oh, I'll continue this later. But I didn't save my work and I closed down Blender and it doesn't come up with a do you want to save your work um, before you close it or anything like that, it just closes straight down. So you could probably do good if you haven't saving it right now and um, not having to go through it all again like I did. So if you notice any differences between
between uh, where, where I was halfway through the tutorial and now. Um, that's just because I have made it all again. But to start off, I'm just going to continue a bit more with the trousers and then I'm going to get around to the shoes on the next tutorial. So I'm going to press Z and I'm just going to select this area here um, and scale it up. Hit S, and that's not that good, bad. Um, I'm going to get around to sorting it out around the shoes and things when I've added them in. Um, so it's not that, it's not too bad right now. I'm just going to pull that in because it's a bit outwards. Okay, and um, when we get later on, I'm going to use the sculpt mode to sort out some problems around here and things because then you can get more specific um, but if you look at your trousers you'll notice that you have big seams down the inside and outside but you don't you don't really need the inside seams to be made so we're just going to make an outside seam and to do this I'm going to press ctrl R add a ring loop in there bring it fairly close to the other side and then press Ctrl R again. And if if with your middle mouse button or on your magic mouse, uh, just run your finger on that downwards, and you'll change the amount because you don't want to go too much. But the pink line resembles how much, how many lines are going to be added. So just do it a very little bit until you get two lines and add two lines in. Then press G on the X axis. So G, X and just pull it out slightly. I think I pulled that out a bit too much. G, X, a bit more on the X axis than that. A noticeable amount from quite far away, um, but not too, and you'll see there what it's done. I have a big seam down there, so that's looking pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we've got a seam and we've got uh, an even knee, like a more realistic knee area, which is going to be the most ruffled, uh, rather than both sides there. And we've got some belt things, uh, and that is an appropriate amount of detail. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to see what it looks like if I add a um, add a subdivision, and maybe just. Add a subdivision and don't apply it yet. I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to select a good amount of faces with circle select. Oh, actually, I'll introduce you to loop select with con holding control and clicking. You can just go around as the area that you want. And quite specific. Go like that. And that was more of a square, so I could have used box select, but just to introduce you to loop select, so I, I used it. Um, I'm just going to grab that along the X, and then a little bit on the Y. And you can see that's pretty much sorted it out. Okay, this is Zoink TV. I'm going to continue with shoes next, as I might have mentioned. Um, Please tell me in comments what you think of my tutorials. Um, these are the first few tutorials I've made. Before now, I've taught a little bit about how to do stuff with Max. And if you're interested in screen recorders, I've got a, I use QuickTime Player. Um, but uh, keep keep on going with these tutorials. Bye.